Hello guys and welcome to my 12th tutorial on XHTML and CSS. In this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to put some images on your web page uh, by using a CSS code. Uh, I know we did some in the last videos uh, I, I think it was number six video we did um, uh, the video about uh, putting some images also on our web page but uh, we did that by using XHTML uh, but in this case we're going to use CSS and just uh, place an image using only CSS code okay so let's go and open our page one dot HTML and go inside our style tags and let's write the body selector and place your curly braces and inside let's write a new property called back round image and type URL and parenthesis and semicolon inside URL we have to write the name of the image file okay we have placed on um, the same directory uh, of our uh, pages okay so we have our pages here and then I have this image file called yo BNP that we used already in other tutorial and let's use this file to load the image into our web page so let's write yo BNP save it and let's run this in Chrome and as you can see the image is loaded uh, to fill all uh, the background uh, page okay all the background of our web page so instead of this I just want uh, a one load only a single f a single image okay so we do we can do this by writing back let's write the property background repeat and let's write no repeat semicolon okay with this property the file the image in the file will not duplicate and fill uh, the background of our web page okay it will load only the single image so let's uh, save this let's refresh here in our browser and there is it there is it okay there there is only one image okay the image that is inside our file the image file so how to place the image uh, for example in the center or where we want to okay I don't want the image to be there in the corner I want it to be here so we can do that by just typing this other property background position and here we will write the pixels we want from the image to be from the left and space and then the pixels we want the image to be from top so let's this is uh, 50 pixels from left and 50 50 pixels from uh, the top okay so I save it let's refresh it and there it is 50 from top 50 from the left okay um, we can also use the percentage here if I type 50 percent it will be 50 percent from the left in relation with all uh, the wide of the web page okay so it will be 50 percent of the left and 50 percent from the right and we can also use I think we can use it also here in the from the top uh, okay 
Uh, I think we can't. Okay, doesn't work. So we have to use pixels here from the top. Okay, guys. Okay. Let's use another. Um, let's delete all this. Okay. And we're going to. Sh I'm going to show you another um, property, which is called the padding. Okay. And for that, let's go to the body. Go to the body in between the body tags. Just write H1, the tag H1, and my title. Close it, H1. And of course, in CSS, let's choose the wa the H1 uh, selector for the H1 tags. The curly braces, and let's type a property called this you already know it's background color let's give it a red let's save it and now the background color of H1 uh, will be in red okay uh, okay something is wrong uh, let me see I have to close here. I forgot to close with a slash to close in style tag. Okay, let's save it. Let's open the browser, refresh. Okay, so the background color of H1 tags uh, is red. Okay, so this is uh, all the background of H1 tags. Okay, it goes from uh, the beginning of the page from the left to the end of the page and the right okay now I want to give a padding to the content which is the words my title uh, to the content of h1 text so let's give it a padding of 10 pixels let's save it let's refresh and the padding is um, the space a space that we can give um, uh, all around uh, the content in this case my title okay to um, uh, from the top from the r left and from the um, from below here and from right in this case uh, from right it doesn't uh, count because um, the we start always from from left and we started uh, writing from left as always so don't forget don't 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 play it pay attention for for this in this case for the right okay so we have all around my title we have um, a padding of 10 so it's 10 pixels from top 10 pixels from left 10 pixels from uh, to to uh, below okay so let's start from um, let's try to do 30 pixels for example save it refresh it there it is 30 pixels okay so you can give the padding that you want to this content okay you can give also a padding top okay so now instead of padding all around uh, the word or the content uh, it only works uh, the padding top 30 pixels so it will give only 30 pixels from the top okay as you see 30 pixels from the top and none from the left and none from below okay only from top you can do it also with left let's give it only a padding left save it refresh and there it is a padding left okay guys this is all for this video if you have any questions just send me a message or uh, put your questions
questions in the comment section below and I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. Okay, see you guys later and have a nice day. Bye.